here is the final piece. I did not record the whole because the whole painting of this glass because it took me a lot of time. Uh, but I did record it the other one because it was easier. Uh, but I did record um, the uh, most of it, and I don't know if you want to see only half of the painting, but if you do, let me know. Um, I was inspired uh, to do this. First of all, the wine pours, I saw Christine Jessek doing wine pours, and she is always an inspiration. But then the glass with the wine, I was inspired because we are planning a wine and painting pouring party with my daughter and her friends. I'm going to teach them all how to do pouring and I'm going to film it and you're going to be able to see the videos. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell and help me grow please okay, so we're gonna start with this wine and then sure I, wa I want to tell you that this is not a um, real representation of how liquid will fall from the glass uh, it is just an artistic interpretation and um, I'm sure it will not fall like this but this is just art and um, also, I want to say something. Somebody was saying, why not use wax paper, freezer wax paper? I have used it. It doesn't work as well. But if you don't, ha if you don't have a, a pallet paper, then you can use whatever you find on hand. I, sometimes I even have used uh, the wax paper plate when I don't have these. So whatever you can find, you can use. And we're just going to put the colors that we use for this pour in here and use that uh, to create uh, this wine art. So stay tuned. I transferred the design that I have into the canvas, my tracing. That was my tracing and I, and I transferred it in there. I just transfer my tracing in there and I'm gonna follow my photograph and we're gonna start. The colors that we're gonna be using are Queen Acrido Magenta, Camion Red Deep Hue, Alistarin Crimson Hue Permanent, these are Liquitex Basic, and Deep Violet Liquitex Basic. And then from the Amsterdam series, the permanent blue violet so those are the colors that we use for these and here are the colors so I'm using a black gold by dynasty 206s it's a shader which has longer than the chisel blender and I'm gonna start with the crimson and do light colors in here I want to put some white also on my palette so let me put some white so this is Liquitex titanium white I'm gonna put titanium white it doesn't matter which titanium white you use I'm just putting that one because I have this tiny <laughs> tiny tube because I, there's gonna be some places where I'm gonna put white I don't want to miss the dark area so I'm gonna start with the um, deep violet and start building my dark Let's put um, white on top of that. And of course, you're not going to see that white if you don't have some shading behind, which I right now I don't have the black in here, but I can bring some black. Let's bring some black so that we can do some grays. So I used to do a lot of oil painting, so I like to give you a lot of information. So black is done with ultramarine blue plus burnt umber, about equal amounts. If you go more into the burnt umber, you make a warm black. If you go more into the ultramarine blue, you make a cooler black. We want to have both warm and cool black, so I put, instead of bringing black from the tube, 
I brought these two tubes, tubes and I'm going to be mixing my black. So let's show you that so that you have some knowledge of that too. Let's make some black in here. With these two colors, about the same amount. And I think I put too much of the of the burnt umber, so let's take more of the of the ultramarine black. Right now, it is a warm black, right? And I'm gonna show you why you know that. If you take a tiny bit of the white and you mix it with uh, some of this color, you're going to see what type of black it is. Now, if I want to make it uh, more uh, cooler, a cooler black, I add a tiny bit of the ultramarine blue and now it's a cooler black. So right now, let's leave it like this, this in here. Right now I see a cool black. I see a cool a cool gray. That color that I mix, I see it in this area in here. I see some blue, so I'm going to take some of that, of that ultramarine blue. And I am going to clean my brush so that I can see more of that blue. Because this seem, um, ultramarine blue seems to be a transparent color. Then it gets darker. More of, the, more of the ultramarine blue with that gray color. Maybe more so, more of the white. I'm going to finish it uh, off with that coloring here. Okay, let's go back to the dark. It has more of the blue in there. So we are trying to put um, darker in here. And it's a warmer color. Let's find a liner and 
bring that dark in here. Violet plus Mina Creole Magenta plus Alison Crimson. Okay, I'm gonna take the white and the dark uh, color. I'm gonna start building my my glass in here. do this faster this is gonna take forever this way so I'm just going to go over with um, yeah this is faster if I do it this way I'm disregarding all these lines I don't want to spend all this time with this and this is the Queen Aquidon Magenta then I'm gonna go to the Queen Aquidon Violet I'm going to buy the plus white. Let's go to the the um, Berman and Blue Violet. Come here, red. So let's just have fun putting color like this. Gonna go to that um, black that we mix and put some white. Even with the cut being red on top. Gray plus the magenta plus white. More, more of the red and the white. Come here, red. We are doing like a base coating here, filling all the holes of that canvas. Camion red. So the cat red. Cat red plus white. Let's put some of this red in here because you have to follow, you know. Let's 
so cut red let's go to the uh, dark I need I have I'm out of the white but this bring um, very a light area in here and that in there okay let's do a float in here and that's probably too dark let's put more of the white I'm going to wait for that to dry I'm going to put another float in here and um, hmm. I'm going to use this color to put it in here okay and with a tiny bit of the um, pink um, Queen Acridum that's that white grayish color more of the white let's clean it so the black grayish color that I mix plus white but more of the white very very light gray color We're gonna fill in this so that we can uh, highlight this. This is super, super dark. But well, for now we'll leave it like that. This same color we're gonna put in here. put with a tiny bit of pink and highlight this area and more of the white okay so I'm gonna start building the dark colors but before I do that I want to make this lighter so I'm just going to take that um, white plus that gray in red so let's uh, put some of the the violet the dark dark um, purple color Uh, put the light on that um, glass I'm gonna bring some of the color from here in here so let's take some of the quinacridone and Bring some more color. Got red. So the white.
not gonna do too much more because this is supposed to be something easy but I'm just gonna build a little bit more the colors um, of this so like putting all the colors so let's put alizarin crimson in here tiny bit of the deep violet with the alizarin crimson to that deep violet I'm gonna add the Alice, uh, the, the deep violet plus the perm and then man and blue violet and maybe some of the littering crimson to color out you want to do that Build the highlight in there. I think the thing is that the colors in my palette are, are drying. So let's build the highlight in here. Just gonna. So building that highlight in there. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like this because this has to be something easy and fun. So this is the final piece that I'm gonna show you now the Dutch pour for it. I'm working on a wine series. I did uh, several Dutch pours and I will enhance them. And this is one of them. And um, I'm going to divide it into sections where I do the pour and the other section I do the enhancement video because some people doesn't like to watch the enhancement but please I would like to know in the comments if you like to see those enhancements please let me know